What's up you guys, Ozzy in the process here. Welcome back to another video. I wanna to explain to you guys or show you guys how to install or replace interior lights, map lights, dome lights, whatever they call them or whatever you guys wanna call them. But it's pretty much these little bulbs right here that you have on the inside of your truck. So you guys can see like those right there on the inside of the truck. Even perfectly enough, you can see the one that's blinking right there. So that's a cheap LED that I bought. The one up here is like blinking and it's done for. So I installed those LED lights about a year and a half ago or a year right around there and they started kind of blinking and flickering and stuff so what they do is they'll flicker and then they just go off or go out completely and obviously we don't want that I ended up buying a cheap brand so you can get them from like Amazon or whatever and they're really not that good I don't recommend you guys to buy those if you don't want to be changing them out all the time so like they say you guys you get what you pay for so so invest in some good LED bulbs I've got this one right here, aux beams. Okay, so check this bulb out right here. So this is the aftermarket LED light bulb. And then this is just your standard original light bulb. And I'll even take a picture of them so you can see them right here. So on your left, you've got the regular halogen and on the right, you've got an LED light bulb, the aftermarket one. So pretty much guys, what I wanna explain or say is that you can update to these LEDs, just get a, a better or a decent brand, something not that cheap. Like I said, this isn't sponsored, but this is aux beams. Uh, that's a good brand. I also use JDM A-Star. You guys can check out that brand as well. I put a picture up here. So JDM A-Star, those are a little bit more expensive, but they are really, really good. Uh, I have used those in the past as well. So let's get on with this video and I'll show you how to replace all the interior lights in the truck. So the only tools you guys are gonna need is a flathead screwdriver and you're gonna need a Torx. So you're gonna need a Torx bit. You're gonna need one of these and you're gonna need a flathead. So you guys will need that Torx and that flathead. You could also use like a pocket knife, something very thin. These are gonna be the two tools that you're gonna need for this and this Torx, you're really gonna need it for just the ones in the front. And then this one here, you could use it for everything else. We'll even show you how to change the license plate lights, which is very, very simple. You change it in like a minute or two. So you guys wanna take all of this off. Okay, so what you guys wanna do is grab that screwdriver, kinda pry it up in there. Be careful though, you don't wanna mess things up. So what you wanna do essentially is just kinda grab it, push it around. You could even probably do this with your fingers. You just don't wanna hurt your fingers. Essentially what you wanna do is get your fingers in there. Yeah, so I think it's better to get your fingers in there. Kinda grab that and then just pull it down, but be careful. Use force, but don't use excessive force. So you pull it and you hear it snap. So it just loosened up. We'll do this side. Okay, so we got that. Now we need this back part, like so. Okay, so we're in. We loosened it up. These clips right here go in there. So they go right there. You've got a connection here. You wanna loosen this connection up. So, you look at it from here. We're gonna loosen this up. So you're gonna press on this, press down, and then pull it back, like so. Or you push it back and it comes free. So we're gonna bring this with us to the back so we can undo it. Okay guys, so check it out. What you're gonna wanna do, your lights are right here. So flip this thing over. You've got a couple of screws in here, like this one there. Then you've got one, one back here that you can you can't even really see it right now. And then you've got that screw right there. So you guys are gonna need a T10 uh, screwdriver or Torx 10. So something like this, a small one. So you put it right here and you start undoing it. There's three screws in here you want to take off. Once you take it off, next one is right here. So that one right there. Once you undo it, you take it out, put it right there. There's another one back here too. Behind this connection here, there's another one that you can see right in there. You take that one off as well. Careful not to hit the connection here. Once you loosen it up, you bring this thing up and away and check it out. So now we got the bulbs right here. So we've got this bulb here, which is our JDM A-Star. And then this one is our cheap one. You need to take them both out. So you just grab it with both fingers. So with these, grab it, wiggle it, and pull it straight out. So that's what we, we had. Grab this one with our left hand, kind of wiggle it, pull it off. There you go. Now let's do our replacements. You guys might be seeing these right here. So this one, same thing, you'll have it in there. You just move it and then pull it out. These are my replacements right here. I believe these don't matter which way they go in. I believe they fix the polarity on these. But if not, you might have to put them in one way and then put them in the other way, see if they work. So you just grab it, push it in. Same thing with this one, we grab it. You've got some pins in there that you can kind of see in there. All you gotta do is fit this in between those pins. It's hard to show on camera, but you'll see it. 
Okay, grab it, push it in. Should be good to go, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect it to the connector on the truck itself and just make sure that they're on before I screw everything back up. Okay, so now that we got the connection back on there, we've got this kind of dangling. You guys can't see me, but you've got the two buttons here that you press to manually turn these lights on right there. This one works. So once you know that they both work, then you can put it all back together. Okay, so we've got the bulbs in there. You've got these two plastic things right here. That's where your little buttons go at, these right here. So you're gonna fish them back in, align the holes. So once you align the holes, you'll see them there. It snaps back in place, as you can see. Got your three screws and you put them back in the holes. We put all this together, got our lights here, good to go. We already checked them on the connector. So what you're gonna do is connect it back in. So you've got this, this little thing here, goes in through here, so you match them like so, push it in, there you go. And you can tell that they already turned on because they're connected again. So now, like I was saying before, these clips here, so these clips are actually like this. This clip here goes in this hole here, and then the other one goes on that hole there. So it's a little hard to see on camera, but you guys should be able to understand what I'm saying. So now what you're gonna do is just kind of fish them in there. Once you feel like it's kind of in there, you can either push it like that, or you can give it a little love tap like that you're good to go you're not breaking anything just be careful but got to give it a little bit of force so push little love tap there you go it's all good nice and good in there i'm gonna turn off this light here from the camera so you guys can see what it is i'm talking about there you go they're working right now i could click it but because the doors are open it's registering that so my interior lights are on but this is the new lights that i went with they're a little bit wider than what i had previously but hopefully this should last a whole lot longer than the cheap ones that i had so let's go on with the next set of lights okay so if your truck is like ours i don't know if you guys will have the inner entertainment system here so we've got the little screen and stuff i'm not sure if yours is going to be the same way it could be or maybe this mechanism here might be the same way so i'm going to take these plastics off so that i can access the bulbs in here how you do that get your flathead screwdriver a small one you're going to fish it in here so i'm pretty sure you can hit it on on whichever side you want just kind of pry a little bit it comes out top one you just kind of pry it and then you just pull it down with your fingers. Be careful because it is a plastic that could be brittle. Take your time with it, but there you go. So that's your bulb right there. Now in this case, I do not have the bulbs that you would be using to replace. If you can see, these are like a longer type of bulb. I don't have them with me at the current moment to replace these, but they're also not flickering. So I might just keep them on here until they start doing that. If not, yours will be like a, like a cylinder and you just replace them. So you'll just point the LEDs to the bottom so that they can reflect. And there's nothing to them. All you have to do is just grab it and then pull it down now when you want to push it in you've got these little tabs here you just push it in however be careful when you do that because these bulbs for whatever particular reason they get very very hot so you if you have like a little piece of shirt or a rag or something use that to help you out and to put it back in you've got if you can see in there you've got a hole and you've got one back here your plastic has these two pins as well so you'll fish it in and then fish the other one in like that so grab it push this flap in just a little bit there you go once you got it like that you fish it in once it's nice and good you just push it in ever so slightly while you hold this side there you go so it's it's in there now it's not going anywhere remember when you press these that's how they work let's move on to the next set in the back okay guys so as you can see this one kind of flickers it kind of flickers on there this one's bad this one's still okay so what i'm gonna do same thing you can grab it on either side with your fingers just grab it and then you're gonna pull down be careful there you go you hear it snap out of place come over here to this this side over here pull it down there you go you heard it snap in place okay guys so for this one here don't make the mistake of breaking it this is the front of the truck or the middle part the camera's recording towards the front so i'm looking at this towards the rear looking at the trunk you pull them side and side so side and then you pull this side then you've got some tabs here right here and right here so if you've got a screwdriver you push it in you got to push it in and then push this one in they'll both come loose and then you push you just pull it down this side the one up here has these like tabs that are hooked in here so as much as you pull on them they will not come out so what you need to do is depress or press on these tabs push it push it it comes down you pull it like that and then you push it back 
or you pull it back. Then you've got a little connection here. You've got this little tab here. You gotta pull this out and then pull the connection up. So with your hands, you gotta pull the tab and then pull the connection up like that and it lets loose. So this is in here. So you have to pull that back and then pull the connection up at the same time. And then now you've got this here. So some bad news, I guess, or good news. I don't know, however you wanna look at it. You've got some more torque screws. So one right here, one right there. One right here that we have to take off and replace. So let's go do that right now. Got the torque screw right here. You're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna undo it, pull it off. You've got this one and this one, pull it off. Pull it off and then you can lift up. You got your light bulbs here and here. These are both trash. You grab it with your fingers and you're probably gonna have to back and forth, back and forth. Throw that out, back and forth, back and forth. Throw that out. Let's get your new ones in. Got your two replacements, same thing. You've got the little brackets in there. You just wanna line it up and push it in. So this one goes like that. Push it in, it's good to go. Next one. Push it in, good to go. I'm gonna go back up there, connect it, press these buttons just to make sure that it's working before I put everything back together and screw it all back in. So we put it back together, align the holes right there, snaps in place, put the screws back in. You guys, we're almost done. So to put, put it back in, you know the drill, you know how it goes, push it in, push it in there nice and good. Make sure these tabs go in first on this side. Push it, push, push. There you go, just like that, good as new. We're almost done. You've got these cargo lamps on the back of the truck where you put your cargo and stuff. These are super easy. You're gonna fish your flathead screwdriver right here on the outer edge. So this one here, push it in, you pry it, and there you go. That's that easy. You slide it out like this. Your bulb is right here. So you just grab it and fish it out. You could probably even do this here and push it out for you like that. And then just pry it out. Get your replacement, fish it in. There you go. Do the opposite, grab it. Push it in there and then push down. There you go. Now this one, opposite side. And it's got a little tab on there or a little space where you can kind of fish that screwdriver in. Put it in there, pry it, push it down, pull it out, you've got it. You can use your screwdriver to kind of help you push it out because it is a tight fit. This one's a little bit looser. You just grab it, pull it out. Got your replacement right here, same thing. Grab it, push it in, grab it from here. Push it and push it, push it all the way in. Okay guys, so we're at the back of the license plates. So this is the back of the truck. Come down here to where you've got your rear view camera. You've got your license plate lights right here and then over here. Your flathead screwdriver, you're gonna do it on the inside part. You're gonna push it in there and then you'll see it kind of wiggle. You might have to push it a little bit more like that. Bring it down. Once you do bring it down, you're just gonna Push it like that and you can see the tab right here on here that's why you can't really pry it because it's going to be trying to push away from it it's going to give you a tough time trying to pull it out so that's why i said pry it from the inside connection is right is right back there so pull it down like that you've got your light bulb and your connection right here so what you're going to do is twist it and you're going to twist it uh counterclockwise so like that if you twist it the other way it's going to tighten it up so you twist it counterclockwise pull this down you've got your light bulb right there so you should have those depending on what lights you already have on there if you've got leds it might look like mine if you've got halogens it'll look like the other round ones all you do is grab it pull it out fish your other one in there you grab your connection here i'm sorry your cover your light cover right here you're gonna fish it in there and you've got some little tabs in there you can see them here like right in there you've got some little tabs and then if you look at the light itself it's got tabs right there and right here so fish it in there it'll usually be in like that then you just twist it you might have to use the other hand like this twist it in and then you just push it in there push this tab in there you go like that that one's replaced let's do the other one so same thing here on the outer side you grab your screwdriver like that this one pull it out so the tabs are actually on the same side. This one might have a little bit more of a loose connection so you can pull it out more and then you just twist it counterclockwise, pull it out. There's your light bulb, same thing. Change it, put it back in. You'll have to kind of play with it, finesse it a little bit, kind of. Once it goes in, twist it. So twist it like so, and then you just fish it back in. Push this, push that one, 
it clicks, you're done. Then we're gonna look at the final result with all the LEDs turned on and it is nighttime, so this should be good. Okay guys, so these are the interior lights. This is what they all look like now. Got your front ones. Okay, these I did not replace, but they look about the same color. I might eventually end up ordering a different kit because the ones I got only came in that certain bulb. Uh, but these are working as well, they're good. You've got these rear ones back here. These are working as well. Then you've got the ones all the way in the back. Those are the ones for the trunk. Those are also working as well. You can see that right there. Now let's go look at the reverse lights real quick and we'll be done with the video. There you go, it shines a pretty good light. Look at that, shining down. The cops should not pull you over because I mean, look at this. You can clearly see the license plate. There should be no issues whatsoever. Okay guys, so we're finally done. Got sweat coming all over me. It's dark as hell outside, but it is a little humid. We got it all replaced. You guys should be way brighter in your trucks. Like I said, I use these aux beams here. I will leave the number or the part number for the light bulbs down in the description. Either way, um, you can kind of see it on here on this little paper. They say they're T10s or they're gonna be 194, 194 light bulbs. Um, I got these that are like the Xenon white. So it's like 6,000 Kelvin color or something like that i don't remember what the website said this pack right here cost me 13 dollars so you guys check periodically on amazon they usually tend to go from like 13 14 dollars something like that with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it helped you guys out if you guys have any questions or comments anything like that leave it down below where all the comments are at if you guys see somebody that asked a question go ahead and help them out we want to make this a good community where everybody can answer each other's questions and everybody can become more knowledgeable so with that we're done we're good we're out of here and i'll catch you guys in the next episode later